Hey guys, welcome to the channel Health Tricks and Tips in English, the best pregnancy centric channel. This video is all about the first solar eclipse of 2022. In this video, we will primarily tell you the timing, sutak of the solar eclipse or the Surya Grahan in Hindi, which can be seen in various parts of the world, and why is this solar eclipse important to the pregnant woman. Let me briefly tell you what is solar eclipse. Solar eclipse is there when moon comes in between sun and the earth, thereby blocking some percentage of the sunlight to the earth and thus casting a shadow of the moon on the earth. This solar eclipse will be partial because the moon is not completely in line or in a straight line between earth and the sun. So it will be a partial solar eclipse and so again the Suta Kal will not be valid. It will be visible primarily in the parts like Argentina, Chile, Uruguay, southeastern Peru, southwestern Bolivia, some parts of Brazil in the Atlantic Ocean, southeastern coast of the South America and in some parts of the northwestern coastline of Antarctica. So if you are watching this video from India, this solar eclipse will not be visible in India. So let me tell you the timing of this solar eclipse. This solar eclipse is going to be visible on the night of 30th April. That is when the April is almost ending and the May 1st is starting. So technically it is the 1st May. The solar eclipse will start at 12.15 am and it will end at 7 minutes past 4 am. The timings are in IST that is the Indian standard time. So if you are living in other parts of the world, so you can convert this time according to your time zone. So the question may come that if it is not visible in your part of the land, for example, this solar eclipse is not visible in India. So do the pregnant women living in India need to worry about it? So the answer is that this is an astronomical event that is happening all around the universe. Though the solar eclipse is not visible in some part of the world, but the effect is all over the globe. There's so many customs and rituals as per the Hindu religion and the traditions and the astrology that needs to be followed by our pregnant woman during the time of the eclipse. Primarily during the time of the eclipse, pregnant woman cannot eat, cannot drink anything. She is also forbidden to sleep. But if you are living in India, by the time of the solar eclipse, you would have eaten your food and you would go to the bed as well. So you don't need to worry that much about the solar eclipse. Only make few precautions like put Tulsi or the basil leaves into the water because this is something you might be needing during the night and if you are keeping some snacks because you may feel hungry due to the pregnancy at any time so it is always best that you are also keeping some Tulsi leaves or the basil leaves in your snacks so as to safeguard them from the harmful radiations of the solar eclipse. Now this video is becoming a bit of astrology and the astronomy i mean there are some mythology attached to it so it may sound superstitious but the people who are believing in eclipses and the effect on the human life and primarily and profoundly on the pregnancy they will understand what i'm speaking and if you're following these tips definitely if nothing it is going to give you the mental peace so all for that satisfaction if you want to follow the tips you can follow it the once the eclipse is over the first thing pregnant women should do is to take bath change their clothes and then sprinkle the holy ganga water all over their home so as to purify it and to nullify the effect of the harmful radiations of the solar eclipse. And then after you can have your meal, make sure that you are eating freshly cooked meal and drinking fresh water. So this is the basic thing that women who are living in India should do. But if you are living in a country where the eclipse can be seen, then there are much more to your precautions. And that is actually a detailed video, what you have to do, what you should not do during solar eclipse, before solar eclipse and after solar eclipse. The link to that video I have given in the description box. If you want to have the detailed video about all the precautions, then you can go for that video. So friends, this is all about in this video about the eclipse and pregnancy. If you like this video interesting, do not forget to give me a thumbs up. If you are coming to the channel first time, consider subscribing. Press the notification bell so that you do not miss any upcoming videos on pregnancy. We'll catch up in another video on pregnancy. Till then, peace out. Stay happy. Stay healthy.